If you are selling your business to a family member, watch this video. There are some important considerations you must reflect on. The IRS scrutiny. One possible downside to conducting business transactions with family members is that the IRS will more closely examine such transactions. There is the unfortunate potential for the IRS to question the price or valuation method used. As long as the sale of your business can be shown to be fair market value, you should be on firm footing. If you need help with that, feel free to contact us. By anticipating the worst when you structure the sale to a family member, you can avoid unpleasant surprises later, such as a gift tax assessment by the IRS if your valuation is contested or inclusion of the business in your estate when you thought you had transferred it out. Special financing techniques. You may want to withdraw from the business, but still keep the business within the family. And you might have children or other relatives who work in your business with you who might be ideal potential buyers. When selling your business to family, there are certain financial arrangements available that you probably wouldn't consider when selling to someone outside the family. There are also tax considerations that apply specifically to transactions within the family itself. Some favorable, some are not. There are financing methods available to you and your buyer besides the lump sum cash transaction. These can be especially valuable when the family member buying your business doesn't have the cash or access to enough cash to make that purchase. Financing can be structured so that you receive a stream of income in exchange for your business while spreading out your gain on the sale over the payment period. Private annuity. Private annuities are often used with family transactions. Under this arrangement, the payment for your business interest are spread out over the rest of your life. The payments amount is calculated using a life expectancy table. If you pass on before reaching the calculated life expectancy, the buyer gets your business for less than the full price. And if you live longer, your buyer pays more than anticipated. The major benefit to you is the removal of the value of the business and the future appreciation from your estate. In other words, less potential estate tax. Installment sale. An installment sale might be suitable financing arrangement when you're willing to accept payments over time, want traditional security of promissory note or collateral, and want to be sure to receive the full price for your business. Unlike the private annuity, the buyer using installment payments must continue making payments to you or your estate until full price is paid. The major tax difference to you is that any balance still due when you pass on must be included in the value of your estate for estate tax purposes. If you meet all requirements, you can spread your gain on the sale over the installment payment period. Self-canceling installment note. A self-canceling installment note is a special form of installment note that is a hybrid of a private annuity and installment sale. Like a private annuity, payments end when you pass on. And like an installment sale, the obligation can be secured with a note or collateral without jeopardizing the tax treatment. A word of caution. These are sophisticated tools with major gift and estate tax consequences. Consult with us first before establishing this financing method. Using buy-sell agreements with a family sale. You may want to consider using a buy-sell agreement if you are planning to sell your business to a family member. Buy-sell agreements let you arrange the terms of the sale today for a sale at some point in the future. You can lay all the groundwork for the sale at the time when there is no pressure to sell. Buy-sell agreements can be structured to provide potential buyers through the use of options or guaranteed buyers through purchase obligation clauses. Coordinating sale with gifts. It is possible to coordinate the sale of your business with a gifting program to reduce potential estate taxes. Gifting allows you to systematically reduce the size of your estate. When you make gifts of portions of your business interest, you can still maintain control of the business until you're ready to fully let go. If you're married, you and your spouse can make gifts up to double the annual gift tax exclusion free from gift tax as long as you both are your citizens and make the gifts jointly. This strategy can provide you with an opportunity to ease your successor into the business by granting smaller ownership portions up until the time of the sale. Once you are ready to give up control, you can go ahead with the sale of your business using one of the financing methods discussed or any other method that is acceptable to you and your buyer. For help with the sale of your business to a family or non-family member, 
feel free to contact us.